All right, Shalom. Before I get started, I want to give all praises and infinite glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well, and also peace and safety to the Akim that spread across the four corners of the world that's pushing out this truth with all diligence and also putting their lives on the line to do so. I'm the brother, brother Karatazai here out of Great Millstone, Atlanta. Here with the lesson going into uh, prayer, you know, uh, which the Hebrew Hebrew word for prayer is palal, you know, the uh, Lashawan Kodash. And, uh, you know, uh, <clears throat> you know, the spirit, you know, has been, you know, touching on prayer lately, you know, and how important it is in our everyday walk. All right. Um, and mainly, you know, the four, you know, important prayers which is the anointing, you know, the uh, the Albanawada, which is the Lord's Prayer, you know, uh, the curses and the Shammai. You know, we should all know, you know, if you've been, you know, in the truth, you know, for a certain period, it's a certain period of time, you know, we should all know these prayers, you know, by heart, you know, and, set, and send them up to the Lord, you know, on a daily basis. All right. And, you know, you can really see, you know, uh, you know that the Lord is working with you through certain situations, you know, just by the prayers that you send up to him and having faith and uh, belief in those prayers. All right. And, and understanding that he will answer them, you know, in, in, in due time, according to his time. All right. So uh, without too much rambling, you know, I'm going to start off, uh, you know, in Job chapter eight and verse uh five um it says if thou wouldest seek unto the most high be times and make thy supplication to the almighty you know the that word supplication you know uh you know really is the same as prayer you know uh it says if thou were pure and upright surely now he would awake for thee and make the the, the habitation of thy righteousness prosper you see so if you're pure and upright, you know, the Lord, you know, will answer your prayers, man. All right. And then coming into the times, you know, that we in now, we can see Esau is moving, you know, certain chess pieces on the board. You know, now, even though, you know, we don't, you know, know his exact plan, you know, uh, like, a, uh, you know, his exact move. You know, we understand the uh, his, his. We understand Esau's, you know, uh, uh, will. You know, his, what he wants to accomplish. Okay, so with him, you know, uh, moving certain chess pieces, you know, all hell is about to break loose, man. All right, and it's important for for us to continue to pray to Yahweh by Shimei Shai. You know, um, uh, to to help sustain us you know in these days all right because a part of <clears throat> you know isaiah 33 and 6 a part of the wisdom is prayer man okay so it says uh if thou are pure and upright you see you so anybody just can't you know uh pray to the lord you know he's gonna answer their prayers man you have to be very you have to be sincere all right even the scriptures say you know uh in the book of matthew you know, uh, the everyone that says, Lord, Lord, should not enter into the kingdom of heaven. All right. Roughly paraphrasing, you know, but the Lord isn't going to hear everyone's prayer and, his, and, and their supplications, man. All right. So it's important to develop, you know, uh, a relationship with the heavenly father, you know, uh, early B times, like it said here. You know, that's why I pulled a description where it says, Seek, seek the most high B times. That mean the word B times mean early. Okay. So um, it says verse seven. It says though thy beginning was small, yet thy latter end should greatly increase. All right, and we all know, you know, uh, the book of Job. <clears throat> you know what? You know happened in in the latter end of, of the book of Job. You know, the Lord, you know, bless him a hundredfold. 
All right, because Job went through the persecution and he and he still leaned upon the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, and that's and you know this is why you know this book is a perfect example on how to put put your trust in the Lord, man. All right, and not be carnal. You know, uh, 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 leaning upon your flesh, your fleshly desires, and you know cares upon of the world. You know, just. You know, put all trust and hope in y'all by Shimmy Yahweh Shai. All right, so uh, from there, I'm going to go to um, Colossians chapter 1 and verse 9. And it says, uh, For this cause, we also, since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you. You see? Uh, the scriptures say in the uh, book of uh, First Thessalonians, the fifth chapter, it says, "What pray without ceasing," and that's even you know for other brothers. You know when you send up prayers to the Lord, you can specify you know who who you're praying for, man. You know whether it's the apostles, you know the elders, you know your, your uh, the heads of your camps, you know a brother who you see you know in the fire, you know. It's, it's okay to pray for other brothers as well, man. Other brothers' families. All right? Because we're, we're going to need these uh, times 10, you know? We're going to need these prayers times 10, you know, uh, as the days approach. So be more acquainted with the uh, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know, be more familiar, you know, with prayer. All right? And like I said, you know, uh, opening up the lesson... You know, uh, <clears throat> the base, you know, uh, the basis to, to the prayers are the four main prayers, man. All right. So it says, uh, I'm going to start this from the top again, uh, Colossians 1 and 9. It says, for this cause, we also, since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you and desire that ye might be filled with the knowledge of, of his will. Uh, will and all wisdom and spiritual understanding you see so uh this is important man all right it says that ye might walk worthy of the lord you see how, how important prayer is so you can walk uh worthy of y'all by shimmy i shy man all right so it says um in all wisdom and spiritual understanding that ye might walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing because fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of the Most High. You see, so we're, we're to increase in the, the knowledge of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, so it's, it's uh, important to learn to be better at praying. That's a part of increasing and growing. Okay? So uh, from here, I'm going to go to the book of James, chapter 5. You know, and I'm going to wrap up on here. But this is James chapter 5 and verse uh, 16, I believe. Matter of fact, I'll start at verse 14. It says, Is any sick among you, let him call for the elders of the church and let, the, and let them pray over him. You see? It says, um, Anointing him in the oil in the name of the Lord, you see? So that's why we do uh anointings, you know, the Yabarak. You know, and we when we do when we do it, you know, we pray, we pray to Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh Shai to hit for to heal and strengthen brothers, man. Alright, in the name of the Lord. Alright, it says uh verse 15, and the prayer of the it says, and the prayer of the of faith shall save the sick. And the Lord shall raise him up, and if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. You see? It says, uh, 16, confess your faults one to another, and pray for one another, that ye may be healed. The effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. You see? So we're supposed to be fervent in prayer, man. All right? This is what the Lord requires of us, man, to be fervent, hot. Okay, in prayer, man, not ceasing, you know, like the scriptures say. All right. So, um, 
you know, I just wanted to touch on that, you know, adding my two cents, you know, to, uh, you know, the spiritual un uh, understanding that's being put out amongst brothers. Uh, and, and Lord willing, it was edifying. I'm going to go ahead and close out by giving all praises and infinite glory. I tell you how about Shimi how shy by Shim Rukakwadash, the honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And until next time, Shalom.